In these uncertain economic times, it's nice to know that some things do not change. The leaves turn, the snow falls, and then, then there's a Liberal leadership convention. Now, the smart money says this will be an epic battle between Michael Ignatieff and Bob Ray, some sort of unavoidable, preordained fight to the death that was first prophesized in ancient scripture. And if the entire party is destroyed in the process, well then, so be it. Which is why a lot of liberals out there are once again looking for that long shot candidate that can sneak up the middle and stop them all from being annihilated. Justin Trudeau, will he run? I have no idea, but I know this. Mere mortals such as you or I cannot believe the pressure he is under to run. A lot of liberals out there, they see Justin Trudeau, they go mushy in the head. And when you tell them that he has no experience in politics, they say, it doesn't matter. He grew up around it. Now this, this I understand. My father worked for the Department of Fisheries and Oceans for 20 years, and I cannot tell you how many times complete strangers had suggested that I be the man in charge of turbot fish quotas. <laughs> and then, of course, there's Gerard Kennedy. Hi, remember me? I'm the guy who gave you Dion. Now, for the liberals to go with Kennedy at this point, that's a bit like necking with the guy at the office Christmas party that gave you the cold sore. <laughs> Twice. But hey, stranger things have happened. And then, of course, there's the dream of the White Knight. Will a Frank McKenna just show up out of the blue and save the party? Now, this is interesting, because usually in most countries, when they're talking about dream candidates, they throw around adjectives like brilliant, charismatic, dynamic, whereas in Canada, only one adjective counts. Bilingual. Yeah, Barack Obama wouldn't cut it up here. But for any liberals out there who can't make up their mind, don't worry. At the rate your party is going, three leadership conventions in five years, eventually, everyone's gonna get a turn.